Konnichiwa, konnichiwa. Yo, is the biggest streamer in the world racist towards Asians or is everybody just overreacting to a bad joke? What do you think? One. Bro, and I come back, come back, come back, come back. Come back. Why you got on Argentina, bro? Uh, konnichiwa, konnichiwa. No, no, Chinese, Chinese. Konnichiwa, Argentina. Chinese, no konnichiwa. Why you trying to <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. At first, it looked like it could have had uh, potential to be, you know, a hilarious interaction. Maybe they could learn from each other. Maybe the Chinese guy could teach him to say ni hao, which is the equivalent of konnichiwa because he thought he was Japanese instead of Chinese. But then it just turned into bang, chuang, tang, bang. <laughs> oh, man. This is, dude, you know what's so funny, man? Because we have rush hour movies, which are like the greatest pairing between a a, a fob and a black guy, right? right? And that makes billions of dollars and everybody loves it. But then the interaction can so easily go downside. Yeah. But you know, literally this, I thought this was a scene out of rush hour. I was like, all right, guys, it, like, I no, hope. No, it had all the elements. The elements were there for this the to hype. be a banger of a scene. But then it ended up like Chris Tucker, yeah. like clowning Lit on Jackie instead of seeing him as an equal. It's like. Damn, man. So, this ain't rush hour. So there's different sides to the reaction, right? There's a debate going on, and there's three main perspectives. The three main perspectives of what's going on is, uh, one, dang, he did the fake Chinese accent. Why is disrespect and racism towards Asians always so normalized? I'm sick of this. And then there's another perspective that's like, ah, it was a bad joke. He's a hype kid. He didn't mean it like that. It's not the worst thing, let's move on. And then the third perspective is actually a lot of white people saying, dude, you know, if iSpeed was a white guy and he did the same thing, he would get canceled five times quicker. And Andrew, the truth is, there is a shred or more than a shred of truth in every single one of those statements. They're not mutually exclusive. For me, Andrew, obviously I don't fit in the I show speeds demographic. I don't even watch streamers. However, I will say this. I had seen clips of his stuff before. He's a talented kid. He got like 12 out of 10 charisma. Um, but I was disappointed in his attitudes or maybe dismissiveness or lack of like full respect towards Asian cultures. I, I honestly was. Yeah, for me... Uh, it's clear that he is more into at least anime culture, right? So that's why he knows Konnichiwa because he does watch anime. We know this. Um, but I don't think he knows as much about Chinese culture. My thing for him would be like, hey, listen. And he did make an apology video, which we'll play at the end of the video. But um, I think it's like if you want to be cultured and you want to be wild and meeting all these different types of people, at least learn some real Chinese phrases, man. Honestly, not that many people would have been mad if he just said, Konnichiwa. Oh, you Chinese? Ni hao shei shei? Ni hao shei shei. Right, even though ni, ni hao ma. shei shei wouldn't even have fully made sense in the context by saying thank you, people would have still been like, oh man, you know like two, three, four words from my culture? You're yeah. good. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> you're showing me respect. Listen. You know that like, two words. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, guys, I don't want to look at I show speed like he's like, Barack Obama, like he's supposed to be the most thoughtful kid that never makes mistakes with right. his Right, he's words. known as one of the most wildest, ratchetest streamers, and that's why he's so popular, right? Yeah, and I don't think he's a hateful, malicious kid, but I'm just saying, like, are we really picking apart his words like he's supposed to not make mistakes? I'm glad that his fan base came out and said, yo, you know what? I'm an Asian fan of yours, and you, you did us wrong. So he came out and apologized. Maybe he won't make that mistake next time. But anyways, guys, let's run his apology video to, to in all fairness. Hey, guys, it's a uh, clip going around where people are saying I'm being racist to an Asian guy. You know, and I just wanted to say some things, you know. I wasn't being racist to him. I promise you, you know. I seen him. I thought he was, uh, you know, when I see, uh, I, I thought he was Japanese. So I, was like, I say Konnichiwa. I watch a lot of anime. I said uh, Konnichiwa when I thought he was Chinese, you know. I tried to say a nickname that they call me in Chinese. I literally was just talking to a Chinese person earlier today at 433. And they said they love me. And I love Chinese people. So I tried to say Zhong Kong, like Tong Kong. Like, it's, it's a nickname that they call me in uh, China, China. I promise you, you know. And, and, if, and if it came off as racist, I promise you, I did not mean it that way. You know, I got a drilling pushing. I'm making content, live streaming. I'm at the World Cup. Watch Ronaldo play, drilling, pushing. I seen him with a, a Argentina shirt. You know, I just wanted to say what's up to him. You know, I, you know, I love other races. You know, I, I really. Did. I think the apology, to be honest, is like seven point five out of ten. I consider it valid. You know, I don't think I don't think he has a PR handler, but I think they would be pretty happy with it. I mean, the the Jong Kong thing, 
Like, uh, definitely a little bit of cap right there, to be honest. I don't really think he was trying to say, <laughs> I don't think he was trying to say that. But and then what um, was he expecting the Chinese guy to be like, oh, yeah, oh, you should Zhong Kong, Zhong Kong, I think the main, main thing that I took away from him is like, Yo, I've been in that situation where the adrenaline's running and you're just trying to come up with some impromptu, like I said, UCB, Second City. It's almost like an impromptu sketch thing. You're on stage, but it's the world stage. It's the streaming stage and you might pop off. And Andrew, not all jokes are a home run. Sometimes you swing and you miss, but it just so happened when you swing and you miss and it's a racial joke in 2022, it can go downside for you uh, based off the reaction on the internet. Hey, you know what? I don't think he's a bad kid. I mean, I would overall accept the apology. One thing I don't like about people's apologies, though, against Asians, they always say, I love Asians. I love Chinese people. I love them. No. You don't love them. I'm not saying you hate them, but you don't love them. Don't just say that. That's super, uh, what's the word? Is that gaslighting? No, that's patronizing. I don't know, whatever word people want to use nowadays, that's just not true. So I think that that's the part where people lose me in their apology. Just be like, yo, I made a mistake, my bad. I've made jokes in the past uh, before YouTube, like on stage when we were performing and doing stand-up. Swing I made, and a miss. I made jokes that was a swing and a miss, you know? And I was like, dang, my bad, yeah. I, you know, I learned from that, you know? So I think people can learn. But overall, you guys let me know in the comments down below what you think about his apology. Listen, he is a streamer that makes millions of dollars a year. He's His net worth is like 10 million. So of course, people who make this much money and have this many fans around the world, I do yeah. think they should be held to a standard. Yeah, I don't think you can apply the same amount of scrutiny to him as a junior at your like local public high school. Like this is somebody who you know obviously wields a lot more influence, power, money, et cetera, et cetera. Right, let me change just it. read yeah. it to the short and just be like, yo, he is yeah, a three, wild dude. Two, three. Like he does yeah. try sort of in a yeah. weird so way, but culture, then he, but it, but it kind of comes yeah. off as condescending. Three, two, one. I mean, Andrew, there are some other clips that provide context. He does try to be, like, cultured in a global way, but it also does come across as really ignorant, as we will see in the next two videos that we're about to play on the screen. One, go. This is Speed in Qatar interrupting a Brazilian TV or web broadcast by being a uh, pro-Portugal fan. <laughs> Portugal's winning! Portugal's winning! Brazil. No Brazil! No Brazil! No Brazil! Portugal Portugal's winning! Yo, at the end when the guy's like, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. Obviously, Andrew, clearly Brazilians have a very different reaction to uh, speed than like Chinese guy. The Chinese guy was like, ha ha, you're crazy. <laughs> kind of like it, kind of don't like it. This guy's what? like, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. What if the Chinese guy was like, afterwards, he's like, oh, yeah, man. Black people have a lot of energy. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. All right, so um, here's another clip. Huh? No English? Allah? Wallahi? He's Indian? Oh, uh. <laughs> you know that song? Hey, where oh, you from? man. Yo, Andrew, are you surprised that Speed knew that Punjabi MC song? Obviously, that Jay-Z did a remix. Beware the boys, guys. Shout out to that song. Really, really good. I, I guess I have a question for everybody out there. What does it mean when people nowadays make a half-ass cultural effort? Like, it's half-ass. Like, they know something, but they blurt it out in kind of a rude way or a hype way. So it kind of comes off as more condescending. Like I said, I don't think really any of this was fueled by hate. So he's not a bad kid, of course. But like, it's it's just super hype and it's super right. in your face. So so he's trying to do the Punjabi MC. It's like, you know, you're not like he's kind of trying, but he's not. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments down below what you think. Yeah, I think that it's crazy because in 2022, everything's going to like attract the culture wars basically all the underlying discussions white versus black black versus white woke versus conservative conservative versus unwoke versus libertarian they're going to like make its way sneakily into the anything you know what i mean like andrew speed was streaming with a guy from mainland china and somehow it still devolved into a white versus black war in the twitter section so i mean what uh, what kind of commentary is that on the macro state of like american discourse or or is that just a commentary on twitter discourse or 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 
internet discourse yeah. more so than it is the larger landscape. Listen, to close it off, the truth is more and more people are going to be exposed to different cultures. And they'll know a few words of that language. They'll know a few dishes. But I think what you have to look at is the intent and the usage now. Because a lot of people are going to know Ni Hao. A lot of people know Konnichiwa. A lot of people know Anya Sayo or something like that. You know, but I'm saying... Uh, it's not always about just them knowing it. It's also the respect and the usage behind it. So anyways, guys, we're going to end it off right there. That is us reacting. Try to, to keep I it Show civil Speed. in the comment section, guys. I know, like I said, you know, it's funny, Andrew. These things, they cause such a fervor on the internet, but mainstream media will not touch this because mainstream media tends to talk about mainstream things. And this is very internet-y, but most internet-y people have Twitch, Discord, Twitter, you know, Instagram And we accounts, are not so. mainstream media, David. We are not the mainstream media. Like I said, guys, a lot of extreme reactions, but, you know, we tend to be pretty balanced in our opinion. And like we said, it's just a 17-year-old acting crazy. But at the course, you know, there is stuff you could take away from it. You could take stuff away from the comments as well. Let us know what you would think in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Until next time, we the Hot Pot Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.